as we are saying goodbye to the current year and preparing to enter into the new year, let us brush away old heartaches, learn from our mistakes. Another year is over, the new dawn awakes. Let the old year out and welcome the new one in. Let us bury the bad things of the past as the new one now begins. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God, and the Word made flesh and lived among us. May the peace and joy of Christ be with you today. We are still in the joy of Christmas, and today we are on the seventh day within the Christmas octave. And this happens to be the last day of the year 2021 and the eve of the year 2022. Even when we are at the close of a year, we are hopeful for a new year, new beginning. As it is said, every full stop gives you a chance to begin a new sentence. Yes, we are hopeful. And at this juncture, doing three things would help us to make year 2022 still better. The first is, be grateful. Blessed Virgin Mary sings and proclaims, My soul glorifies the Lord, my spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is His name. My dear friend, the year 2021 might not have been the best year for many, as the world was once again semi-paralyzed because of the coronavirus and its various variants like Delta and Omicron and still more. But if we close our eyes and try to see through our interior eyes, we might find plenty of reasons to be thankful for the great shower blessings and graces poured into our lives, for the times that we had for our families and friends, for the people we met, the job done, and the new inspirations and lessons that we have learned, new ways of doing things, and the new outlook that we have about so many things, and still more. Let us be thankful to God and to the people who have extended their helping hands for us, for the job completed, for the dreams achieved, and the mission accomplished. Secondly, introspection. The great philosopher Socrates says, the life unexamined is not worth living. And now as we are at the close of this year, it is very important for us, for us to see how much of these graces and blessings and the talents and the creativity that we are given have been used by us. How did I make my year 2021? Where I open to the lessons, the inspirations, the friendship? Did I use my capacity to love more, to forgive more, to be merciful and charitable to the people around? Did I reach out to those in need? Would those people who live with me prefer to remember this year always because they were with you? Or would they terribly want to forget this year? Life unexamined is not worth living. And thirdly, the fiat. Mother Mary said, Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Let it be done to me according to your word. God who is beyond time and space came in flesh in the person of Jesus in time and space because of the fiat of Mary. As Christmas is the manifestation and personification of the divine love in the person of Christ, it is made possible because of the fiat of Blessed Mary. It is important to surrender ourselves to the will of God as we begin a new year. 
Because there is nothing that happens to us happens without the knowledge of God. God always wishes the best for you and me. Because God loves you much more than you yourself love. God knows all your needs much better than you do. The present situation can make us anxious about the coming year. The wind can blow against us. But Jesus says, do not be worried. God the Father will take care of it. Let us learn to surrender ourselves to the will of the Father as Mary did. My dear friend, as we are saying goodbye to the current year and preparing to enter into the new year, let us brush away old heartaches, learn from our mistakes. Another year is over, the new dawn awakes. Let the old year out and welcome the new one in. Let us bury the bad things of the past as the new one now begins. Let us pray for the peace and healing in the broken world and love and warmth in our relationship. And now for this year 2022, I wish you all that you wish for yourself. And I pray that the love of God stay with you forever. Have a wonderful, prosperous 2022. And may the love of Christ redeem us. Amen.